What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Brandon, from Audio Addiction. I'm recording this on my birthday, so if you want to wish me a happy birthday, let me know down in the comments. But I feel like I haven't done uh, a Brandon's Vinyl Corner in quite a bit. Um, I actually have one I think I recorded but haven't edited yet, so try to put them together. But picked up some for my birthday, picked up some be uh, before the last one, so I have a couple. Your boy's looking a little dressed up today because, you know, went out, had some fun. Uh, shout outs to Al and Britt. Um, my buddy Al sings for the band Ascent Like Wolves. Go check them out if you haven't already. They're the homies. I love them so much. But yeah, gonna go through some of my pickups. Some of these are new. I haven't even opened them yet. So we're gonna get a live opening as well. So if you like the vinyl stuff, let me know. But yeah, we're gonna get into some of this vinyl pickup, stuff like that, so hopefully you enjoy it. But the first one we have here is one that I've been looking to get for quite a bit. This is uh, Kiki's Delivery Service on uh, vinyl. Uh, I was very surprised. Um, shout outs to uh, the rock shop in King of Prussia if you do live in Pennsylvania. Go out to there. Uh, they have a great selection. They did not tell me to say any of this stuff but that's where i've gotten a majority of the pickups that you'll see today um so they're really great they're in the mall so um definitely go check them out if you do live in pa but yeah picked up kiki's delivery service i haven't opened this one yet i assume it's just a black vinyl but this is the japanese version um and it's all in japanese and katakana um but yeah love this uh i'm hoping to get Howl's moving castle next that's kind of on my list of of ones that i want to pick up next but but they didn't have it at the store so hoping to get that but yeah shout outs kiki's delivery service great movie if you haven't seen any studio ghibli movies i would highly recommend watching any of them they're all great so but yeah kiki's delivery service i'm not gonna open this one on stream but you can or stream video you you can check it out you if you know the movie you know all right so the next one here is if you know the channel you know i'm a huge dua lipa fan but i didn't have her uh future nostalgia on on vinyl so uh i i think i did at one point but now i don't anymore and now i repicked it up so uh of course had to get dua lipa so very very excited i think this is pro also probably a black vinyl if i'm not mistaken so yeah maybe we'll well you know what we'll open it up right now we'll see we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out Maybe I'll cut out this part where I'm ripping over the plastic. We'll find out. All right, here we go. The moment of truth, guys. It's going to be black. I can almost be get. I feel like it's going to be a black vinyl. I'm not I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. Just a regular old black vinyl from Dua Lipa. But hey, listen. Excited to add this in the collection. Huge Dua Lipa fan. Um so definitely one that I had to keep in the, the collection. All right, so the next one is a big one. If you know the channel, you know this is a classic record I had to add into my collection. But of course, it's Sunbather from Sunbather, they're self-titled. This is the repress, so this is new. Um, like I said, it was one at the rock shop, so I had to grab it. it looks like it is a orange, yellow, and pink case. So let's, if it looks like this, album cover i'm gonna be stoked but yeah let's uh let's open it up check it out i feel like i'm gonna make so many people mad by <laughs> by ripping over in the plastic but listen you gotta play them you know all right this is looking cool all right let's 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 take a look we're gonna look at it together guys you ready Ooh, bro oh this is nice all right all right all right all right, Sunbather, I see you. Yeah, but I had to pick it up. Classic death metal record. Um, but yeah, so stoked to have this in my collection. I don't think I have any Death Heaven uh, stuff here. so Or Super Heaven, sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, Death Heaven. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I said Super Heaven. Boy's getting old. But yeah, definitely stoked. Glad to add this to my collection. All right, so this next one, the color and the sound, I had seen this before, but I think it was like more expensive and all of these orange tag ones were like half off. So had to grab this. Um, this is like an OG, like pop rock kind of group that I didn't even know they made their records on vinyl. So I had to grab this one. Really, really stoked. Um, 
I'm curious if it's a color because it's it didn't they didn't say anything so I'm gonna have to give it a open up and check out There's gonna be so much plastic in my trash can <laughs> it's all said and done all right let's take a look guys it's looking clear I think it's clear oh nice very cool all right it's not black vinyl that's very cool I'm about that um yeah I remember listening to this I'm pretty sure it's an EP I remember listening to this a ton and so I'm really excited to crank this one out and, and listen to it again um just because I didn't even know they printed this on vinyl. So shout out to the color and the sound. Great, great group. If you haven't given them a listen, go show them some love. All right. So this next one I don't have to open, but you guys can see it. Um, it is a baby metal record, which I don't think I actually own any baby metal. Um, but yeah, this was this was in the half off section. So had to get it. It's the other one. I don't know if I've listened to this baby metal album yet or not. Um but yeah, had to get it. Um, seemed like uh, something that's right up my alley. I'm a big baby metal fan. Um, probably have to collect some of their other albums on vinyl. But yeah, had to cop this one. This one was a no doubt. Saw it in the, in the bin and I was like, got to do it. So yeah, the other one. Very cool. All right. So the next one is I'm pretty stoked about this because I haven't listened to this one yet. But I'm a huge fan of uh, what they do. But the band in question is the early November. Uh, this is their newest album, uh, Lilac. Um, it was on sale. It was on the discount rack. And listen, I couldn't leave the I couldn't leave the early November in the discount rack. You know, I had to I had to get it. Um, but yeah, I haven't listened to this record. Uh, I used to be a fan, and I still kind of am a fan. I haven't listened to a lot of early November stuff in quite a bit. If I'm being if I'm being frank, but. Um, but I remember this album coming out and I didn't give it a listen. So I'll probably give this one a spin and I'm excited to see, you know, what they sound like. I feel like I've always been a big Ace Enders fan. Um, so and I know he does like a lot of music production production now, but um, or still does. I don't know if he still does that anymore. I'm pretty sure he does. Um, but yeah, had to cop this. We're going to open it up because I'm curious what if I got a variant or not um but yeah it was in the bargain bin and you know listen can't have that happen couldn't couldn't do it couldn't bear to see it especially as being a former new jerseyan can't can't let a new jersey emo classic go into the bin like that you know perfect all right let's uh let's see what it is if this is a special variant i'll be really excited all right it's like a yellow it's a nice yellow color you like it all right this is lilac. It would have been cool if it was like a lilac color. I, I think I only have like one record that's that color. So would have been nice. I imagine other versions of this did have that like lilac color. But shout out to early November. Really great band. All right. I'm going to be honest. I've been looking for this album for quite a bit. And I don't think it's really hard to track down. But just haven't really gone out to look. And luckily it was here. So I, I got to buy it. But... If you know me, you know my my guitar history. I'm a huge fan of John Mayer. So I picked up his classic record, Continuum, on vinyl. Which I didn't think I was going to find out in the wild, honestly. Because uh, I've always had a hard time. The only one that I have... I actually have two John Mayer records. So the one that I do have that's like an OG one. I have Room for Squares, which is like a fantastic record if you haven't given that john mayer album a listen you need to do it because it's awesome but um but yeah so i had i i didn't have this one and the other john mayer record i have is uh is uh sob rock which i'm a little mad about because uh basically it's unplayable um i bought it from target which i mean roast me in the comments that i bought it from target but i'm pretty sure target was the only place that was selling it for retail, everything else was more expensive, and I could have bought it on Discogs or something, but I decided not to. But, but yeah, I saw this in the John Mayer section that they had, and I was like, man, it would be really cool if they had Continuum, right? And I'm scrolling through, and they had Continuum, so I was like, listen, I have to put something back to get this, and obviously was not really happy about that but it is what it is i got to pick up arguably one of my favorite records of all time so i think i think it was worth a trade you know 
Um, I'm not gonna tell you which album I put back because I don't wanna I don't wanna do them like that. But but yeah, this is Continuum. I don't know if you can see it really well, but it is John Mayer's face kind of like etched in, so that's really sick. Um, and then we're gonna. I'm pretty sure these are just regular black vinyl, so we'll see. Yeah. All right, cool. They are regular, just run-of-the-mill vinyls. But it's okay, though, because this, this album changed a lot of my guitar playing for a long time. So big salutes to John Mayer, one of the OGs. But yeah, had to get it. Continuum. All right, guys, so you know the next one. Or you may not. Um, so I'm a huge... You know, I've been getting into the K-pop thing as of recently, um, but I'm a huge Twice fan, and I was out at Target. I know I talked, I was shit talking Target earlier, but we're gonna shit talk Target not as much now. So I wind up picking up uh, their newest album with Youth on, uh, you know, Picture Disc, which I'm not really a fan of, to be quite honest with you. Um, this is probably just gonna be more of an art piece, if anything, but. Um, if you haven't listened to this Twice album, go show it some love. It's a really fantastic record. Probably going to be one of my favorite, probably pretty up there with my favorite K-pop releases of this year. So very excited. I have not been able to put this record down. So, um, but yeah, super stoked to have this in my collection. I don't know if I'll play it, but would love to hold, you know, maybe I'll put it up here or like put it somewhere in my, my room here. But yeah, shout outs to Twice. Love them so much. They're awesome. One of my favorite girl groups. All right, so the next one is kind of a little bit of a double feature. Um, these I posted on Instagram uh, a little bit ago, um, but I was really stoked about it. And these are my homies, Bellhaven. Uh, love them. Love these guys. I want to cover their members' faces, the, the boys. Um, but yeah, I picked this up. This is uh, I'm Not Dead Yet. Uh, this came all the way from Australia, so shout out to them. Um, but yeah, really, really cool little little record you know um i love getting these i don't really do too much with them but i will definitely be giving a listen to this because it's it's really fun but it's in this like like brown i don't even know how to describe it. it's kind of like a brownish like interesting color like yellowish greenish really weird but um i think it really works with the the album art so i was super stoked about that and on top of that i got another little uh little record here as well too um this is i believe a swift farewell and uh the other homies in um in clay j gladstone so this is the the release uh and i it looks like i got number 16 out of 150 which is really really cool so definitely stoked to have that and if you didn't get a chance to see that it's like a little bit of a like it's, the camera's not really doing a great job picking it up but it's like a purple and black uh record so excited to have these in my collection um yeah i like the little baby ones so maybe i'll get some more who knows all right so the next one i did not want to pay retail for um especially like the first pressing of it it was insane um but yeah so much money did not want to pay for it and i want to give a shout out to rise because they have been doing a good amount of represses of older records so uh been able to cop some of them which is really nice so the one that i well actually two i grabbed the first one being of course woe is me and delinquents um I had to grab this. I know, I know a certain someone is very controversial in this band and in the following one, if that gives any indicators on which records I picked up. But um, this, this is such a, this is such a classic, like Rise era record. So had to grab this one. Um, this one is the beer variant one. I know that there was like, I think, like a yellow one or something like that but yeah i had to get it it was really fun this is again such a fantastic record to me it's one that i try going back to pretty frequently um but yeah just a classic woe is me and delinquents if you have not checked it out and of course the final one i feel like i kind of alluded to it but this one was also on a repress as well and i knew i had to get it so this is issues they're self-titled this one i think is the newest repress of it uh and i'm pretty sure the repress goes by like black ice i'm pretty sure is the title of it but i mean kind of came out pretty sick so 
but yeah, this this was a very influential record to me. Um, again, I don't like a certain someone in this group anymore. Obviously, rest in peace to issues, but um, yeah, had to have this in my collection, so I wind up grabbing this as well. So, salutes. All right, guys, so that was my vinyl pickups. Let me know what you have been picking up recently. Uh, this will probably be my, I don't want to say pickups for a long time, but I'll, I'll probably be on ice a little bit, at least until the summertime, maybe. Um, I'll make another video probably around that time uh, once I get more. But, but yeah, those were the ones that I picked up between... I want to say a couple months um i know the last video i think i recorded was like in like january december or something like that so kind of around that same part um so every couple months i'll probably try to make a new video of this as well so if you do like vinyl let me know what you've been picking up recently uh let me know if there's any cool record stores that you've been to wherever you live uh, i would love to check out some cool record shops as well so thank you for watching if you like the video Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.